Hi guys and welcome back to my Nintendo Arcade, I'm Alex, hope you're all well. Um, just put this video out here, I had a, fr a friend turn up today at my arcade, well not turn up, I invited him over. Um, good friend Dave, Retro Dave Nintendo, he's got his own YouTube channel, you've got to check him out, it's awesome. He came over today and we had a fantastic day just chatting and laughing about everything Nintendo related stuff and it was, it was really cool actually to have someone in the arcade who appreciates what I collect. Um, I've got some really cool friends that are into the arcade scene and stuff like that, that's cool, but you know, I'm a, a Nintendo collector and I, arcades is a part of what I collect, but also console stuff and even early Nintendo stuff like toys and stuff like that, I have a little interest in, so it's, it's nice to meet someone who has the same interest as me, and Dave's really cool for that because he's got a really nice... SNES collection, he collects American carts and he does really nice unboxing gameplay videos and he really knows his stuff so if you're into all of that you must check his YouTube channel out, it's Retro Dave Nintendo and he's a really lovely guy, he came over today and we just had a great laugh chatting everything Nintendo basically, I mean um, he's quite knowledgeable about you know the different variations of NES carts and different versions of games and you know he knows stuff that I don't know and obviously I know stuff that he doesn't know about the arcade stuff so we got on really well and had a great day really enjoyed it and I've done a little video um, which I'm going to put up and you have to watch that after this of us just playing some games and Dave does a bit of an unboxing for me which is quite funny and um, yeah just had a great day so watch that guys it's really cool and um, Dave brought me some beers over. Thanks for that, mate. Um, Bollington's one of my favourite beers. And that was basically just for putting Dave onto Operation Wolf, which I didn't do much really. I just got the ball rolling, saw basically the cab up for sale. I know Dave was looking for it. It's a classic 1987 Operation Wolf by Taito. It's like a shooting game. It's a classic game. Um, and he managed to, he's done a video of it, so check that out guys, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, I just helped him really, just put him in touch with the, the contact really, the seller. And he's brought me some beers, so thanks for that mate. Um, so yeah, that's, so to, to check that out, that's the video of the day today. And then after that, I'm going to do a little gameplay video of Donkey Kong, but not the arcade version. Today I'm going to do the Game Boy version, and it's funny, I've had this in the collection for quite a while, right, but I've never got around to playing it, um, and I, what I'm going to do with this video is put it in the Game Boy Player in the SNES, because you can play Game Boy games in the SNES if you've got, uh, where is it, here is, the Super Game Boy Player, so we're going to slot this game into here, then slot this into the SNES and we're going to play a bit of Donkey Kong um, which I think is going to be quite interesting because I've heard it's quite funny and it's got a little bit of a twist it's not like the arcade version at all so I'm quite is interested to see how this Donkey Kong plays out so that'd be a bit of fun so um, but for now stay tuned watch the video of, of me and Dave having a crack in the arcade today and then after that um, is the Donkey Kong gameplay video all right guys so enjoy enjoy the video cheers yes Done it. Nice to get a little sequence now. 
Bonus. Your love sequence. Shut your eyes, adults only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, look. Whoa, that's some oh. serious heart going on there. Oh. Oh. In there. So what's your highest level of box numbers? Well, I've looped it uh, so three times. Level nine. So does it get really fast and hectic? It does, yeah. Is that the Sabonis that you're out of Yes. And I don't know what, what makes you get a high score because you can get up to 500 points for getting that. So I really don't know what triggers the 500 points. Whether it's the angle that you get it or what, I don't know. Nice shot. It's pretty good this day. I love it. It's really good. Yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot more playable than Donkey Kong, isn't it? It's, yes. Like and it. they brought Jack into Smash Brothers. If you play the new Smash Brothers on the Wii U, it's an assist trophy in Super Smash Brothers, which is pretty cool. Oh, oh. nearly. Blimey. Get him! Oh, oh, I should have walked away. I should have walked away. You weren't in the Matrix there, was you? Oh, in the Matrix, mate. <laughs> Got him in the end. Oh, oh, oh. skill with Bill. Nice skill. Oh, delay, delay on the cooker button. Got it. Yeah. 300, 300 that time. That's not five. That's not five. That's about nowhere done. For the excitement. He's got one in the oven. <laughs> Come on. There we go, Wayne. Now I'll just get the other uh, saliva off. You have to get Join your the club Nintendo cloth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got me off. I need the club Nintendo cloth, mate. Yeah. Is the game over now? Level six, yeah, that's not too bad, is it? Your first try. School. Do you like that game, did you, Dave? I like that game. It's a good game. It's a very good it's game. There's not many more of the time people to experience and play it, though, is there? Well, yeah. You've got to come into the. But it makes it easier to get a yeah. world record on because no one yeah, else has well, got one. Right. So at the moment, record. I am the world champion at yeah. Sheriff. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. And you're second. I'm second. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. Right, guys, we've got Dave, Retro Dave, and the Nintendo Arcade. How are you doing, Dave? All right? That's bad, thank you. I've just been videoing for Dave's channel. I'm just yeah. going to do a little bit for my channel. And Dave is kindly going to do a bit of unboxing for me, aren't you, Dave? Oh, I've just, just been told Dave. 10 seconds ago. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't even know what you're going to unbox yet, do you? They're standing you right in the front. I've got two new Amiibo on the shelf there. Can you see I them? I need to open them. Yeah, please. As you know, I've got a, a loose collection, unbox collection okay. of Amiibos that so I'm you're collecting. anti-box? I'm totally anti-box because I'm not a, well, I could say the new word is shelf collector. <laughs> shelf collector? <laughs> that means it goes on the shelf and never gets used, but... Pretty much all my stuff gets played, I okay. have to say. So, so what's your technique? Are you going Stanley Blade, nope, yeah, I'm keeping no, it, or are you going to go just go mad? On the builder's route, which is basically, <laughs> if you've got sausages for fingers, you just get them in there and rip it all apart. <laughs> and fuck, fuck, the, fuck the box in the bin. That's it. <laughs> and then stamp on the box, right? Right, we don't need that. <laughs> Now, can you describe the figure for me? <laughs> this is the first. This is basically putting two fingers up to all those Amiibo collectors that will not open their fucking boxes. I was the same though, I was the same. Yeah. We're putting two fingers yeah. up at the old Dave, right? That's right, yeah. So we're keeping D to D. Right. Looks yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I know nothing me. about him. No, but he's from Kirby. Kirby, but I'm not a fan. Yeah, yeah, no. So Kirby any on nice the game little was, features on there. Uh, looks alright. He's I like his hammer. Yeah, you showed it to the camera up close. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? There you go. So you're gonna use this one, or is it gonna sit on the shelf? Um. Maybe. Well, you've got, a few, got quite a few to choose from, haven't you, really? I don't know. You're, I'm getting there. I think we've got oh. about 42 now. 
something like that. And I've just pre-ordered Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah. Ro Rob the ro robot. And, and well, I've got a confession. I've done the same. I know I sold them mine, but I want the retro ones, so that's it. Yes. I and mean, they'll be opened because uh, oh, I've, I've, really I've really got little I've got little Mac opened. Yeah. And uh, Doctor Mario. Yeah. I've actually had a go with them on the Wii U, but yeah. I don't do very I much. I don't today. do much, no. But so, I, I've, I've kind of put a limit on the Smash Brothers um, line. The line. That's yeah. it. I'm not going anything more. There might be the odd one that I might like, but other than that, I'm not going for the Splatoon. Oh, okay, not yeah. or anything. Like I just the want. Ones, isn't there? I'm a the massive. Characters. Yeah, I'm, I'm just you know I'm just a big Smash Brothers fan, and I just yeah. want every character, and that's pretty much every character. The best Nintendo characters out there, isn't it? Really, yeah, I mean, you've got them all there. Yeah. What else could you want? And I think. In a cabinet, which I'm going to get, I think they will look fantastic. Yeah, are you going to? Is there like a display stand you can get for it specific? Well, I want form? something which I can put away oh. so I have to dust them oh. all the time. Do you know what I mean? I don't so, like it, getting... is it, so it's a shelf collection. Well, no, what, shelf what it is, Dave, <laughs> is I don't like getting my Club Nintendo <laughs> duster dirty. <laughs> right, so they've got to go in the cabinet. <laughs> So we don't want to get the club into the dust of dirty. <laughs> so all the amiibo will go in a, in a cabinet so they don't get dusty. Are you enjoying yeah, yourself? Though? I am, yeah. <laughs> well, what have so you got to do? Rosalina's took a bit of a... Have you kicked that one? Did you open that one? Well, that turned up <laughs> like that and I was going to complain to the bloke on eBay. Even though I'm going to open it, I thought I'd better lodge a complaint anyway. Because <laughs> that's what people do to me. I thought I'm going to be a git like them and just give them no for packaging, like one, one star. <laughs> star. So you've got completely uh, yeah, we'll do a bit star. of a box porn. It's completely yeah, it's been sat yeah. on. I do hate that word box porn. Box porn. I think arcade that's arcade porn. Arcade porn. I mean, come on, really? No, I think box porn. Is <laughs> box porn is a word I used a little while ago. Yeah. I think Damien does no, use, use it, but we all yeah, use the, it. The, the, bo yeah. the box porn is is very low on this one. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's, well, it's, it's, quite, it's like a, it's a bit quick, like a Z, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's not got crisp edges. So, so what would you give that out of ten? The box. Oh dear, um, it's got to be a six, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So what's it going to be after you've opened it? <laughs> it's going to be a zero. And trod on it. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's any of you watching this channel and wants the box, yeah. you're welcome to it. <laughs> well, watch my Club Nintendo yeah. <laughs> dust sheet. <laughs> Right. <clears throat> right, so we're going to unbox it then. Yeah, unbox it. Build his way. Build his way. Yeah. On the floor. <laughs> oh dear. So, so I'm not finished opening these, see, I've got to work it out, do it. Oh, right, so you've never done this oh, before. This is a new, actually, this is a new, this should be a new vid. <laughs> My first unboxing <laughs> of an Amiibo. There it goes, so we've got Rosalina. Yeah. Which looks very lovely. She does. You yep. show her up to the camera. Yeah, closer. I, very well. Uh, oh, she looks beautiful, doesn't she? Lovely. She looks like a Disney character, doesn't she? She does. Like a Frozen character. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. Very similar. Fact, you know, I think she's really shined on the Wii U before then. She, she hadn't made much of an impact, but I really do feel like she's shined on the Wii U. You know, <laughs> she's 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 come out of her own. She's made her own little stand in Nintendo. Right, so the common problem we've all got as collectors is where the fuck are you going to put oh, these? Exactly, yeah. well, there's a little space up there, but is that... That's because Samus is down oh, here. Yes, yes. suit is yes. down there. So, so we, need to dip, we need to eBay the Game Boy. No, Sell that, no, and, then no. you can, and then they'll fit. Yeah, no, well... You know what it's to... like? We've got to sell things to make space sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I might sell one of these cabinets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. how much do you want? 50 quid? Oh, Best offer. What do you reckon? Which one would you have? Well, if you had to choose I would, one, I, would, I wouldn't be too fussy with any of them, but it's got the one dog kills, isn't it? Yeah, I thought you might say that. Popeye doesn't get a lot of love. I don't know why. A lot. This is a question like that pops Popeye. up a lot on the forums. Yeah. When people go to arcades, people's private collections, and they've got Popeye yeah. in there, it never gets played. I think it's because Donkey Kong used to start a Mario with a staple. And yeah. That, it's that's. Because I think the gameplay's good on Popeye. I think the cabinet's quite an attractive oh, it cabinet. Does, it does look nice. I do like the blue as well. But I think it's because he's on the run all the time. He's quite a wimp, isn't he? Until he's got his spinnies, what can he do? <laughs> he's always on the run, isn't yeah. he? From the, the the bully who's Brutus or Pluto. Yeah, uh, yeah Pluto, I think. Yeah, but still. Yeah, it's cool. But that's the cabinet that I'm going to be running Sky Skipper in for now. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so you've because it's a horizontal it. screen. You can actually run all three Donkey Kongs on one PCB. I think you can get a multi kit, a braze right. kit, do a multi kit for all of them, which is quite handy if you haven't got the room. And I have thought about actually, I've always thought, do I need three Donkey Kongs? I could just have one, run all three games on one board. Well, it's nice to have each one their own artwork. It is, it is. Right. But then I like. Lack... So they look wicked, don't they? You know, the colours. They do, they do, the, the colours colour are awesome. Everything's nice. Yeah. Well, it's convenient to have it in one, but like you say, having them. Yes. Yeah. No, it's it's cool. difficult, isn't it? It's a toughie. It's to think about. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That's yeah. my unboxing so for unboxing. my uh, channel. Yeah. Um, if you want to go over and look at Dave's channel, yeah. he's done plenty more of the Nintendo That's Arcade. It. He's been down here for the whole day. Yeah. Really enjoyed having Dave here. It's been fantastic. Yeah, so, uh, if you want to check out um, Dave's channel, it's in the link below. Cool. Cheers, guys. See you in a bit. So here we are. Here's this Donkey Kong for the Game Boy. It's got some really cool box art, actually. Got Donkey Kong here running off with... Uh, Pauline and Mario chasing him with a hammer and Junior as well, he's hanging on to Junior there um, which is quite cool and on the back we've got um, the two different screenshots of the game one obviously playing with the Game Boy and the other through the Game Boy Super Game Boy Player so let's open it up And it's nice, nice packaging. It's got all the instructions there. Instruction booklet, two instruction booklets off the Super Game Boy. And we've got the usual uh, flyer there for all the other games. Just have a quick look through here. So it should be basic controls left, right, and jump, up, down. That's nice, and then we've got this bigger instruction booklet with a little bit more detail in, which is really nice actually. Look at that, he's back. Donkey Kong kidnapped the beautiful Pauline and has run away to save her. Mario must chase after Donkey Kong. The familiar game of Donkey Kong is now a Game Boy title. A totally new quest awaits Mario beyond the familiar scenes of the first few stages. Hunt down Donkey Kong as he escapes from the big city, travelling on a ship through the jungle, the desert, Rocky Mountain and onto his home. Can Mario capture Donkey Kong and save Pauline? So it sounds like there's quite a few levels to this, which would be interesting. And I can save the game, which is cool. So yeah, I'm really interested to see how this plays actually. It looks really good. It looks like a lot of fun. There's lots of levels here. Rocky Valley, Iceberg, Aeroplane, Desert, Big City, Forest, Ship, Jungle. Right, so let's fire it up then, guys, shall we? There's the cart. I'm going to slot that in there. And I'm playing this through the Super Famicom, the Japanese... Uh, SNES and it works fine so let's set the camera up for the gameplay so how cool is this guys this is the Game Boy version of Donkey Kong we've got like a arcade screen bezel going around the outside here and then we have Mario in the usual first level scene trying to get up to the top to save Pauline um, this looks really really fun really really cool I can't wait to play this I like the way they've done all this kind of arcade artwork down here the joystick and the characters here and the colours are great for the Game Boy I'm really really uh really surprised about that actually how good it looks and the sounds are really odd um, so let's have a go let's start from the beginning <laughs> oh my god 
God, she sounds like a bird, a parrot or something. Well, straight away, this feels completely different. Uh, Mario's, when you change direction, he kind of skids around. And I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, control the barrels like you can on the, the Del K version. I think I'm just going to try and get to the top as, as quickly as I can. Ah. Right, that's the first level done. Easy is pie. Right, straight to the cement factory. Oh, we've got a one up over there. Let's grab that. Oh, sugar. Didn't know you could hit your head on the platform above, so I've got to have to watch out for that. Ah, oh, come on, move out of the way. Go this side. I got back a life on that level, which is cool. This is fun. This is real fun. I like this. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Easy, like that. Right, so now it should go back to the beginning. Or have we got, no, we've got one more level, haven't we? You've got the rivets, that's it. Yeah, control was completely different because as soon as you change direction, he skids. Reminds me a bit of Mario Brothers going on there. Yeah, hey, got the extra life too. This is really cool, guys. This is a lot of fun. A lot of music. Oh, this is different. I'm trying to escape. Oh, we haven't got the key. There we go. Okay. So I think we've got to get the keys to get off the next level, by the looks of it. Got eight lives. Wish the arcade had eight lives. Right, the big city. I'm starting down here and I've got to work my way all the way up to the top, I guess. Right, okay. Right, there's the key, there's the door. Looks fairly simple. Got a few bounces on the way out. Extra points. Oh, get a somersault. Into the door. That was easy enough. So the keys, I think they're different colours. If you've got a yellow key, you've got to press the yellow button on the controller and down to pick up the yellow key. Or if it was a red key, you've got to press the red button, obviously. Uh, right, okay, we're on the top of a head here. Change the colours of the screen, which is a bit odd. Whoa! Right, 
want to figure out. Throw the key out above. They look quite simple, but actually they're quite tricky, the levels. It's just the way he moves from left to right. That's the one thing I didn't like about Mario Brothers, the arcade version. He's just kind of skidding around, and a bit like Ice Climber. It's a little bit frustrating. But this is cool, I'm enjoying this. This is great. Apart from the parrot noises. Not where you can get rid of the hammer. Whatever you want. <laughs> ah, I didn't want to do that. Oh shit. Okay, there's only one life lost out of eight. No big deal. Yes. This is great. These levels are really cool, actually. You've got to think about them a little bit. Oh. We've got end the level boss here. Okay, so... Every time he jumps and hits the ground, I've got to jump. Otherwise, I'm getting hit and hurt. So as long as he's in the air, when he lands on the ground, I'm okay. Oh shit. I got squished. Okay, so it just stuns Mary, I think, if he gets caught. Take it slow, guys. I'm trying to rush through it as you do. Move, 
It, guys, that is not easy. I'm telling you, <laughs> Donkey Kong's never fucking easy. So I think that was sort of a halfway boss. Huh. Oh, what's going on there? Blimey, they're quite uh, generous with their lives they give out. I'm back up to eight lives again. Okay, let's just see if we can get off Big City, which I'm sure we will with eight lives. We've got to. Right, there's the key on the other side. Oh. Get down the ladder. Okay. What does that do? Okay, it gives me a platform. What? Right, oh, you've got a limited amount of time with that. These levels getting quite hard because as soon as you get a time limit on stuff, you get you panic. Isn't it? You find, I find that frustrating. I hate having time limits on games. Down the ladder. Why would we go down the ladder? Right, and how am I supposed to get to that? Oh, God knows. Um, I'm, I'm stuck. Okay, I can put the ladder where I want, which I want to have it there. Ah, I see, that's clever. So you control where you put the ladder. Well, that wasn't a great place to put it, was it? Ah, okay, so there's a lot of thinking about how you're going to get off this level. Um, Oh man, that was too close. So I want to put it directly on top of that ladder. And then straight up. Excellent. Oh. oh 
I'll get up. No. No, I can't know what I'm going to do. Should be able to jump from that platform now. No! Clever level, actually. We're nearly there. Hmm. No, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put this. There. Straight, guys. It's cleverly done. I like the way you do these levels, but I just find it's not quite following through the moves that you're trying to do on the D-pad. I mean, that's the only place where really it can go, surely. Now. It's the time limit it's doing my head in. Oh, it won't get up there. That is really frustrating. I do that, I hate that in a game. It's really good up to a point, and you just realise, right, okay, this is not me, this is actually the game that's at fault. supposed to do now? What? How am I supposed to get down there? Unless I come through at the bottom. If I stay on the platform, do I come out the bottom?
Ah. Oh. Sorry, guys. I'm just. I've got to do this time. Right, it should come out the bottom. No? What's happening there then? How am I supposed to get to that bit down there? That's stupid. That is stupid. Oh, I don't get that. There's no other way down there. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'm stuck. Unless you can last life. What the hell? How am I supposed to get that down there? I don't know how you're supposed to do that. There's nowhere else I can move it to. That has to go there. Can really get across to here. If that's going to, I'm stuck, guys. I don't know how you do this level. This is crazy. How do I get the key down there? There's another way in. Unless I can drop down here. I don't know. I'm stuck. Right, I haven't got a clue. Sorry guys, that is it on this game. I was really enjoying it up to this point. Obviously, it's a simple problem to solve once you know it. Um, but I don't know it and I haven't got a fucking clue how you get past this bit. And it's really frustrating me. So I'm going to leave it there guys. And it's my last life, so I um, would have died fairly soon anyway. And it's getting late. And I've had a few beers, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy this game up to this point. And I think, you know, it's one of those games you've got to come back to. The good job is that you can actually save where you are in the game. Because if I had to do all that again, I probably would never pick it up ever again. But the fact that you can actually save it, I will come back to this game. I actually quite enjoyed this game. And um, I will solve this problem. <laughs> How the hell do I get that key? For, I just can't see a way around there. This is blocking me off. That's blocking me off. I can't go down here. I haven't got a clue. What do I do there? There's not a switch or anything I can use. So time's running out now. You can't jump down through there. This is something I'm missing. Right, I'm not 
crew. I'll have to look that one up. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. It's been fantastic playing this game. It's been great doing another video. Hopefully, I'll have one out again very soon in the next couple of days. And um, so, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Take care.